Look at this. This is track and field, huh? Oh, this is. is running. Okay, running. We are doing a 5K, yeah. uh, 350 pace. Yep. And after that, 20 times 400 with a 200 break. Okay. So it's a total, I think, 17 kilometers okay. workout. So the 5K is a uh, little, maybe a little bit slower than threshold for you. Yeah. Uh, here, so it's sort of like a maybe a hard warm-up. Yeah, is this the idea? Our, our coach likes to give us a 5K between every uh, speech session on track okay. to uh, increase the volume. Yep. Um, he started with this uh, since I started with the marathon. Okay. So it's like to add some yeah. some mileage, uh, yeah. quality mileage. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, Sometimes we even do a 5k after the session, but uh, not in this case. Okay, okay. Yeah. And so after the 5k, uh, you will take how much recovery before the 400? It's, I think, one lap, uh, 400 meter. Just jog? Just jog okay. and then okay. start again. And yeah. the 400s, in between there's 200 jog. Is there a goal pace for the 400s or is it just uh, how you're feeling? Yeah, we, we would like to do it uh, between 70 and 68. Okay. But maybe we start a bit slower, maybe yeah. 71. Uh, it, it depends on how we feel after yeah, the 5k. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it could change. Uh, sometimes we have a good day here, sometimes not. Yeah. And uh, we, normally you find it out after the 5k. Yeah, well you did 40k yeah. quite fast two days ago. Yeah, it was <laughs> quite close. Um, yeah. I would prefer to do two easy days yeah. between the 40k in, in today's session, but uh, sometimes you have to see how the cars go um, how, when you have a group. Yeah, yeah. And uh, today we prefer to have uh, Frank with me. Yeah, and you have Frank here. Also my uh, my pacemaker Good for pace. my next marathon. Hi, uh, Frank. Good morning. You're doing the almost the same thing. You will do the 3k of the 5k. Yeah, he's yeah. the marathoner, so yeah. always need to do a bit a bit more. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, yeah, it's really nice uh, to combine it because yeah, yeah. Uh, it's good speed for good speed and endurance for 10k yep. and marathon. So because uh, you have a few races coming up, you have the Berlin 10. Berlin 10 is coming yeah. up. Yeah. It's gonna be a new course, yeah. but uh, it's really nice and I uh, hope to go yeah sub 29 there on the road. Okay. And um, after that we have the national championship in the Netherlands half marathon. Yep. And a really nice race uh, of 12k a week later on the Cir Formula One circuit of Sanford. Yeah. And okay. uh, but the main goal is uh, Flagstaff, Stanford Invitational, uh, April 29. Yeah. Uh, it's in America, and it's on the track at 10,000. And hope to like have a really sharp time there. Okay. What's the sharp time for you? Maybe what, what would be the what would be the A goal? So my PB is 28.45 from yeah. last year. Okay. And of course, looking at European Championship standard of 28-15, yeah. but uh, that's uh, that would be a dream. Yeah. And uh, but that's the level we're aiming to reach in training, and okay. uh, that's why today is a really good one. Okay. So I'm curious to know from both of you, how do you adjust the paces for this sort of altitude? Like on sea level, you would probably do a little bit quicker. Is there instructions from the coach to pull back a certain amount of time, or is it just how you feel, or how does it work for you guys? Yeah, it's uh, you really have to go a bit slower, definitely. Yeah. Um, but for me, it's the maybe already eight, nine time on altitude. Okay. So fifth or sixth time even in Kenya. Yeah. So you know how the body responds and and you know what effort you want to give in the training. Yeah. And in the in like the first times so you go to altitude, you build some more security in by yeah maybe go five seconds slow or six or seven. So really have it easy. But as long as you have more experience, you can really feel yeah. how how much slower you want to go. Sure. And uh, for now, it's like two seconds on the 400 slower, maybe. Two seconds. Yeah. Okay. So 70 to 68, yeah. and of course, 68 is the pace of uh, yeah. 28 to uh, 20. Okay. So you, we need to go there yeah. for 25 laps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's definitely a bit. Now we we have rest every 200 meters, and we do 20 times. Yeah. But still, it's hard. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, maybe in the Netherlands you would go for 66, 65, yeah. but, uh, but this is a really good build-up training and if it goes too, if it's too, too much, we can also adjust to go to 71 or 72. Yeah. It's all about the effort in the training. Yeah, sure. Okay. 